Heroes and Legends Future The Aizans, the band Imozi, one of the chief strategists and de facto leaders of Madonia is still in charge of strategy to the man L's absence in the dimensions. Being a high ranking Madonian official, the price on his head was great. Will you really saw him as a threat, knowing that he was immortal for some odd reason that was still unknown to all. Will you really wanted him personally dead? And so he ordered the other scholastican powers to attack. That includes Marissa Ami of the army and Naro Harry of the Harry and his younger sister Mary, Maya, sorry, and his two friends, Major and Gordon, and a host of other scholastican, scholastican forces. Sultan, one of main officers of the Aitans in Malzi's army was near the front line defense against the approaching enemy in the Aiton space. As he was a marksman, a former man that never missed his mark. Still this was not enough to reach the overwhelming might of the Scholastican forces. Mar- Marissa Army was leading the attack and a stern and carefully planning and calm demeanor led the army that would otherwise be bashful and clumsy and careless in battle. She reigned in the very um, hard-headed at times Naruto and her little finger. Mozi found Murasami very amusing, her strategies and her whole demeanor and battle and her discipline greatly impressed him to the point of saying, this Murasami is quite impressive. She is very smart and stern and very disciplined. It's a shame, really, that her talents are wasted in Scholastica. If only she was a Madonian, I might have an interest in her. This made Claire cross. Claire was also a of the and loyal to the Madonian cause. She was Mosey's um, recent ex-lover, although they serve, although she served him as her lord. She still had some feeling for him, for him despite them not being together. She grew cross a little bit of what Mosey was saying during the battle. And Jean Op- Opto of the Opto clan, who was married to her husband, Robert Opto, a powerful clan within the Aiton, reached out to Claire and said, Do not let your emotions get a better view. We are mayor of this war. And Claire said, Yes, I know. I know it's peace. I know it's war time. We're not together. We are getting peace time. But still, he's, he's lollygagging over the scholastic and girl. And then Robert said, You two, get your in the game. You're surrounded by the enemy. This is no time for chit chat. Forward. As the battle continued on, Naro found a word that Imozi was complimenting his woman right in the bio, middle of the battlefield that he was there. Naro was furious and vowed to charge straight at Imozi and said, So you're immortal, huh? I show my legend as a fighter and indeed grow exponential once I defeat and slay someone who cannot be killed. Mozi commented and said, Huh? Exponential? Someone of your low IQ knows of a word like that? I guess Scholastica is not completely brainless after all. This infuriated Naruto, and Naruto charged the ranks. And Mozi was like, Hmm, I wasn't even trying to lure the enemy to me. Well, I guess my simple words just helped form the great strategy. Mm <laughs> hmm. Now that I've broken the enemy's 
formation. Marissa, Marissa then come and said, Chris is mousy. It's more cunning than I thought. Now no, get back at once. You must tighten down the fences. And then Maya and China race, up, race to get a brother. Major and Gordon were trying to attack Maya from being shot by Saldan, who was aiming to shoot anyone at this point. While all this was going on, the back of the Anton's camp laid exposed. And the point of the matter is, Morsey wanted to protect his base. If the Anton lost their base, the power would be lost. And so a new enemy arrived. Orient Yubi, the wife of the late Mark Yubi, a leader, a leader of the Yubi, had arrived. Haha, <laughs> she laughed. Hmm. This fire attack will bring us victory. And no, I trust no one else to fulfill this important mission. I myself will go. And Mozi was stunned, distracted by Marasami. He did not expect the Yubi to be here. And so he told his men as he was racing to go back to his camp go back to his main camp to stop him. If he defeats Orient, we win. But if we fail and she successfully she successfully orchestrates that fire attack, all will be lost. And so, Diantons race back to defeat Aryan UB. After Aryan UB was defeated just in the nick of time, the Scholasticans called it a day and withdrew. Imozi at that point was furious. Not at his forces, but the mere fact that Scholasticans were personally after his head. But he noted that Uyui saw him as a great threat and laughed and marveled at it and he found it to be very amusing. Claire, who known Imozi, was questioning his sudden change in emotion. One minute, she said, she said, one minute you're furious, the next minute you're happy. What's up with you? And Mozi said, oh Claire, don't you not see it? Uyui sees me as the greatest threat to his empire. Claire replied, but Menel, Menel is our leader. Right? And Mosey says, yes, he is. At the end of the day, nothing we do cannot be done without his signature. But at the end of the day, it is I and my brains that will lead Madonna to the next generation, to a new and glorious age. And he walked away. And Rob, Robert Oberto and Zeltan followed him. And Claire and Jane looked at each other, dumbfounded. What is Mozi talking about? And what is his son's interest? And I Ami. All these questions, so many more will be answered later as this war continues.